All right, hello again. We are back for part two um, of the Awakening of the Rebellion 2.7. Soon to be, well, this is a release candidate. This is part two of the Let's Play. This is being live streamed. It was actually recorded literally right after the first one ended. So we're back at it, folks. Um, let's see here. Uh, last we left off, we had... Ah, this is so funny, just like doing a recap, but when, for the people watching it later, I'm sure a recap will be nice. Uh, last episode, we talked a little bit about, you know, state of things, galaxy, all the new stuff. We're pushing as rebels up here to north, uh, north, west, right? My cardinal directions suck. And then we're getting ready for a Jabim invasion. We can only use, Jabim has restricted units, no hover vehicles, so only infantry or tracked or walkers. Uh, so we're getting that ready with all the infantry that we're building here. I'm going to wait for one Moncal trooper squad and then we're going to go in hard and fast. Uh, and welcome, of course, everybody that's returning to the stream and everybody that's still here, I guess, or, or new people too, I guess. Everybody just welcome. Anyways, uh, we are moving in on rat attack. We got a ground force. No waits. No waiting. Going in. Hard and fast. We got so much money. It's time to build a Tabana gas refinery. Start rolling in that cash money or the credits. Creditos. It's the only currency I deal in, uh, <laughs> uh, to be fair. Um, last episode, I also said we could start uh, start doing a, a little uh, ship game, I guess. I really. It's so hard to make this work. I really don't know how to make it work. Um, but since we have a bunch of starting forces, um, let's just do this. How about this? In the comments, or also after the video, in the comments section below, uh, for the next episode, please write down uh, the ship type that you'd like and um, the name of your ship. And I will build it as soon as I have the credits and stuff. Eventually, when we get our fleets, a little bit more juiced up. We'll start doing like a community fleet, have like one fleet full of community ships. For now, we're just going to start populating our, our ships. Um, right now available to us, I believe, as buildable. And of course, we have a bunch of other stuff around here. So if you see a ship that you would like that's already built, um, just choose that. Or if it's already built, I'll just assign a ship of that class to you. Um, I think right now we have the Nebulon B frigate available, the Dreadnought cruiser, Vault cruiser, and that's it. Because we're at Space Tech Zero. Uh, a lot of other ships require other things. From the fighter shipyard, we also have the repair ship, GR-75, and the Brahatok gunship, and the Karelian Corvette. The other two are locked. Uh, no fighter squadrons, though, because that gets messy real quick. Um, Uh, yeah. I like how both of you went for MC Liberties. It's funny because it's the only MC Liberty we have. Uh, and since this is, I'm just going to have to go based on chat. First come, first serve. That's the rules. Everybody knows the rules. First come, first serve. So President is going to take that one. Or uh, I could also make a submission form as well. That gets a little complicated. I think the comments section is a bit easier. Uh, President's going to take the MC-80 Liberty called the Executive Order. So I'll write you down. There's going to be a little bit of uh, upkeep since this is live. Um, actually, I think what is a better idea is to pool it up in the comments section later and then between episodes write this out because I don't want to stall the actual gameplay. Right, because nobody cares about me doing this. But we do know that President has an MC-80 Liberty. Uh, I'm just going to write it down real quick. Executive order. And uh, only one ship, please, at a time. Uh, and we're going to have a, a bulk cruiser. And a, yeah, this might be easier. If you do this in the comments section <laughs> after the video is done, or or I'll come up with a submission form. But so 
we have a, uh, a bulk cruiser here as well. I'm just going to start this fleet. We're just going to go here. We have a bulk cruiser called Big Boy. Big Boy. <laughs> uh, and uh, and yeah. For now, that is that. Uh, bulk cruiser and a uh, our MC80. These guys are going to go into battle real soon, actually. So we're going to get this fleet ready here. Uh, over here, we've got our land invasion. So let's let's commence our land invasion. Uh, I don't see much, so I'll just go drop it. I actually should have started doing the. That's a perfect time to do the ship stuff during a uh, loading screen. That takes forever. So, uh, and yeah, let's see. We got another request for a Nebulon B frigate. Uh, uh, it is called Andromeda. And Patrick is the commander of that one. Or I guess I guess you guys are, I don't know what a frigate captain, a captain. You guys are captains, right? Uh, and yeah. So we got Nebulon B, Bulk Cruiser, MC-80. They're all going to be in that fleet. <laughs> that's up there in the north. I'm just going to tell you guys that right now. I decide which who gets what ship. I am the ultimate admiral here. I make assignments. And the top dog of the Rebel Alliance. So, to your stations. I decide where your station is. <laughs> you can have your ship, but I'll assign you where it is. Um, and... Uh, <laughs> We also have a request for a Dreadnought Cruiser here. All, all sorts of stuff coming in. It's a good thing these loading screens are so long, right? This might actually be my benefit. Uh, Dreadnought Cruiser called the Nomada Firestorm. That sounds like a clever modding community reference, and I like it. If it's not, it's still funny. Uh, this loading time is taking forever. So, and Thans Vans ourselves here, another dreadnought being ordered up. Man, you guys like the dreadnoughts. Uh, it is going to be called the Unsuspecting Van. Okay. Let's move in. Rat attack. Rat attack, attack, attack. We're going in here. Um, what does this do again? Oh, yeah. We discussed this. We're going to take away their Swoop Grand Arena bonus. Let's do it. Where do you need him? Luke Skywalker is here on the battlefield. And assisting him, we will bring in Rogue Squadron. Garn Bell Iblis. That's already, like, all of our population. <laughs> right there. Now let's do... Let's do a v V25 combat speeder squad and a, yeah, sa same thing as last time. Just going to bring the same ground troops in. They proved themselves very effective. Rogue Squadron, give us a scout. Uh, nothing here. Okay. Bellibilis, move up. You will be our frontline tank. We got some infantry coming in. Rogue Squadron's helping us out. Let's move our little commando tank group with Luke in. <laughs> I should have stuck Luke in the Bellibus so he didn't have to walk. But uh, he could use the exercise. Use the force, Luke. You can use the force. To oh, that guy just got. Oh, man. Hit and run. Hit and run. Let's go send Luke and get us. Yeah, can you go over there and get us a drop zone, please? Yes, sir. My good sir. Other than that, Rogue Squadron support Bella Bliss. Oh, good lord. All right, back it up, back it up. That's a bit. I don't like this one bit. These guys are coming straight at me. I'm just going to run them over. Yep. And back out we go. Uh, these guys are not shielded, so I'm just going to let. Yeah. 
I'm just going to tell them to fall back here. I'll use the V-25s here as artillery. They got the rockets, so they'll just sit right there. Yep, just like that. I don't know what they were aiming at, but they, you know, they tried. I commend them from trying, for trying. Got our swamp, or I guess, well, they call themselves swamp speeders, but there are serif speeders. And yeah, we got this landing zone, but I, I'll just call in air support. Call in air support, call in this transport. And maybe they'll get there fast enough. <laughs> I doubt it, but this building's almost toast, so there we go. Easy. Rogue Squadron, Garmbel Iblis. Easy combo. It's, uh... Oh, I didn't expect that to fire off. Sorry about that. <laughs> I kind of didn't set my timer correctly there. <laughs> Anyways, so, yeah, we win. All right, Bell Iblis, space, everybody space, space, back to space you go, everybody, including you, Leia. You have a ship. You have a ship, you can use it. Uh, right attack has been defended, or claimed, I should say. Uh, we're going to wait until we got some buildup here. There's our little background planetary defense. It's a lot of money i rather not spend <laughs> right now. We are building on a gas mine. Our Moncal troops are ready to rock. Let's do it. Let's move them in. Ground force is ready to go. Do we have any more? We have a couple of guys here on the ground as well. Uh, let's move in our fleet. Our new... Uh, our new fleet here. So, going in order here, we've got the MC-80 Liberty Executive Order, the Bolt Cruiser. Uh, well, let's just send them, and then we'll talk about them. How about that? That's easier. Uh, the Bolt Cruiser, uh, Big Boy, and the Nebion B Frigate Andromeda, right? Andromeda, and then the Dreadnought, um, the Nomada Firestorm. The next one that we need to order up is the... What is this? The unsuspecting van, right? Uh, and I think what you're going to get, my friend, is uh, the unsuspecting van will be part of Bella Bliss's fleet. It's going to be this one right here. There you go. All right, let's begin now. Uh, level 2 station, easy pickings, but let's do it anyways. Uh, once you order a ship, it's locked in, man. So you're locked in. Uh, you're locked in as the no modifier storm dreadnought. That is your post until the said ship gets destroyed, my friend. Um, so the way it works is, uh, you have one ship per person and once it gets destroyed, you will be able to order up another one. So I'm keeping track of what's going on and, and all that. Uh, where is Gold Squadron? This is after the Battle of Yavin. No Gold Squadron. Gold Squadron was destroyed. <clears throat> and the uh, we can't build the Alliance Assault Frigate yet. Quest denied. No assault. We don't have alliance assault frigates unless we get one. Also, hero ships are not part. You cannot claim a, another hero like a game hero ship. It's got to be your ship. It's got to be a normal, a normie. <laughs> so, yeah, on the line here. I kind of want to do figure out some sort of giveaway to some of the. Ships that survive an entire Let's Play or something. I know it's, it's going to take a while before that even gets resolved, but I kind of want to do some trophies. 
Uh, maybe like most ships killed, longest living ship, um, I don't know what else, most like ships, <laughs> most ships like that you've taken command over, meaning like you're a cannon fodder. <laughs> kind of good, I want to think of some, I know I used to have some medals, I used to do the ship game on, uh, on Twitch or whatever. Oh, we'll just include it in here. Hopefully, I mean, it's a game. Don't get too butthurt. Hopefully everybody kind of just takes a chill pill if their stuff doesn't work out or whatever. All right, here we go. Uh, executive order jumping in. This is the executive order followed by Big Boy, followed by Nova Nomada. What is it? Nomada Firestorm and the uh, Andromeda Nebulon B frigate. Those are our lead ships. Welcome to the fight, boys. The Rebel Alliance needs you. And then we got a bunch of other support, unclaimed support ships. Uh, the Brahatag is also counts as a ship, uh, but your survivability is not going to be that good. Put on our shields and move in to the target. Han Solo will be defending you on this mission. We got our Y-Wing squadrons. I'm not going to use them. I will use, however, our X-Wings, A-Wings. Let's move in. The executive order is taking point. Moving in. Our A-Wings actually disabled some missiles there. That's pretty cool. Oh, they're targeting the Nebulon B frigate. All right, all ships in protective formation. Heavy hitters, please do your job and move forward. Nebulon B is taking some fire here. Uh, I think I'm going to preemptively launch repair drones here. I think it's taken some subsystem damage from the missiles. Yep, yep, yep. We are repairing your ship, sir. Meanwhile, the uh, cruiser Liberty, oh, it's taking some fire. Front ion cannons. His anti cruiser is actually doing a little bit of work there. Ooh, his shields are down. Oh, shields are recovering, though. Shields are back online. All right, that was a pretty easy fight. It's just level two stations at the moment. <laughs> yeah, we get we get asked the the question of where's where's X unit in game X, like tons. So I'm used to it at this point. I just kind of ignore it. Sorry, but that's just how it goes. Uh, let's uh, these Moncal troops might be useful up at Dantooine. We also need to think about kind of sort of reinforcing this area. I'll put some speeders down for them. Got another mission. Riot! This is one of the newer ones. Uh, Yaga Miner has a riot mission. So, Leia. Le send Leia and some saboteurs or Kyle Katarn to the location to help the civilians to riot against the Empire. It's a pretty cool one. Once we are done with the Jabim invasion, I will try and tempt that. All of our infiltrator squads that we got sitting up here. Um, what else is going on? We're doing. People are building up. I'm kind of scared because uh, can I actually take Endor? I shouldn't. No. Command crew of Han Solo, Luke Skywalker, and droids CPO to enter the fight. All right. Well, we'll just wait <laughs> then, I guess. Enemy fleet, Enemy fleet incoming at Moonless. Oh no, we didn't. We have corruption. No, no. Ah, uh, fleet got through. That's not good. It's gonna end up somewhere. I don't know where it's gonna end up. But something's about to happen here. Unless they just moved like through and moved to one of their own planets. That'd be pretty surprising if they did, though. I guess they did. Huh. Empire Major Space Victory at Yaga Minor. Nice. So they are holding steadfast. Uh, yeah. Jebim Invasion. Let's get going. So. Oh, Sly wants a ship. Sly wants a Brahadar gunship. Nice. 
I'm assuming we're going to put you in this fleet too. Uh, yep. Another Brahatak gunship joins the fight at Jabim. We found a commander for the ship. I'm sure you will die instantly. I, I will try not to lose that ship. <laughs> but ultimately, it is just a Brahatak gunship. So, losses will be had, I'm sure. Where is the Black Sun? What are they up to? I'm a bit concerned about my safety. I do not see their fleets. Renvar is not detecting any fleet movement. And I, I wish I could move my camera during this load, but I just, I just can't. So. Um, let's see. So. Jabim is very interesting because you've got that restriction, right, of only ground infantry and, or, well, track vehicles. Rebels don't really have track vehicles in the beginning, and they sure as hell don't have walkers. Uh, not a very mechanized army yet. Uh, keyword yet. <laughs> it gets pretty crazy later on. I do, should probably start investing. I got 14,000 credits. I should probably invest in some 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 heavier equipment sooner or later. Um, there we go. Jabim battle has commenced. We are landing ground troops. The Rebel Alliance is here to take Jabim. We also have local civilians supporting us. You'll find that a lot with the Rebel Alliance. I think they're the faction with the most local supporters or insurgents. Um, Let's land our troops here. Get some scout units, saboteurs, infantry. You can see our LA, like, repossessed <laughs> LAATs. We've got, we're landing some stuff here. Um, what else should we do? Another infiltrator squad. That should be good. Also, have an X Wing squadron. We'll go send them to help the civilians. Now these are these guys are technically not repulsor live vehicles, so they they are allowed. This guy, however, unfortunately, there are some exceptions to said rule, simply because how the game works. I'll put a sensor node down and um, get a heal facility. I think would be a good idea, right? We got all infantry. Move up our squad. Did we get anything? Oh, nice mining facility. Very, very cool. Take it easy. Enemy unit sighted. New stuff destroyed. Always ready, sir. Put one of these guys. I'll follow your lead. Mining facility destroyed. I'm here. It's gonna reinforce this area up here. We've got just uh yeah, they're just holding out. Alright, that's a fair fair strategy. Fair strategy. However, not to your advantage, because I'm just going to push up now that I have this knowledge. I didn't have some knowledge. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Well, I guess we're getting a little bit of resistance here. I will move my X-Wings up to defend. My s soldiers, my, inf my local civilians to help out. Oh, gosh, they got grenade launchers. That's, that's a little bit higher tier than what the civilians can handle. Hopefully the X-Wings will help as much as they can. Yeah, they helped. Oh, they helped all right. Oh, we got a, uh, we got a bunch of people not being used. What the heck? Another set of civilians keep moving up. Fair warning, this ground map might crash. I've seen it crash many a times, so. Hopefully not this time, but. All right, boys, push it on up. Got a massive infantry push here. I'm just gonna set up a turret and more turrets. Just just turret this whole place up. Move our X-wings up. Move our civilians up. That should be interesting. Nice little push here. Alright, here we 
go. We got some vehicles. Uh, we got a one rocket infiltrator here. Oop. No, keep firing. Okay, there we go. Got our infantry. Yeah, we're doing a good push here. Civilians, move up. X-Wings, move up. Get in firing range. Not that they really need to because their firing range is massive. But um, every bit helps, I guess. All infantry target the black market. There's a black market right here. Take it out. And a bunch of cool rocket, rocket soldiers. Pew. All right. Yes, sir. We'll do Next building. The base. Take it out. Yes, you should recruit those special infiltrators on Camino. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll get there. We'll get there. Our Moncal troopers. I really like. This. So this is massive. Like, huge props to Sly. He has done a great job on all the infantry. New models, new rigs. Well, I don't know if new rigs, but, I mean, look at this. I mean, well, yeah. Rocket guy. Look at all these guys. It's so cool. All Our infantry actually has better weapons the higher level they are. Just super cool. All right, Jabem is ours. Land it. Land it. Okay. Uh, yeah, we got this defended. Jabim is we're pushing on up. I cannot wait for my spirit to get absolutely crushed. Uh, people want me to show off. So uh, one of the cooler things about the... We got a Venator class liberation, which is Coda's Venator, captured Venator from the old Republic days. Coda, if you don't know, if you haven't played Force Unleashed, uh, if you haven't, go play it. Um, he has a couple special units. Uh, he has his own militia. And the story behind that is pretty interesting. Um, so, let's see. I think it says it on here. The Liberation is a Venator-class Star Destroyer uh, under the command of General Ram Koda. During and after the Clone Wars, when Order 66 was issued, his men and most of his crew of the ship refused to obey the order and instead sided with the General. The cruiser now serves as the headquarters of Coder's Rebel Cell and has been heavily modified to outgun Imperial Star Destroyers. So the whole point here being that um, the Venator is a base of operations for Coda's militia. Coda never had clones. He just had his own private army. So when Order 66 came around, they didn't turn on him. And his soldiers are actually with the Rebel Alliance. He recruits and trains his own band of separate from the Rebellion, uh, set of soldiers. So we have a couple of special forces from Coder's militia. So we're going to build a couple of those guys up. They are very useful. Uh, out here, we have a set of defenses. And we're going to keep pushing. Intersection 1, another juicy target. We are going to wrap around here and just control this sector. And, and just, yeah, like... Just going to invest more into the pound of gas. We're, look, like, Bespin's are already making us 1,300 credits. Trade routes to Bonnet Gas Refinery giving us 500 credits. Like, yeah, worth it. So put some more money into that. Ordobon is the other planet that can do to Gas, so we got to go after that. Enemy, um, enemy fleet incoming at Yavin 4. See, I was afraid of that. I was afraid of that because the Black Sun's fleet was not on my radar scopes from Renvar. There it is, right there, nice and dandy for you. Um, oh boy, here and it so it begins. The AI has gone super saiyan. <laughs> uh, what can we do here? I do kind of want to try and defend this planet as best. It, I mean, it's Yavin Four. We have a base here. We have a starfighter shipyard. We should try and defend this. Um, this is going to be rough, but. It is going to be worth it, right? So, week 10, not a bad time to get start getting invaded. What I can also do is send all of these stealth units 
under th past the fleet and land him on Yavin 4 to help defend because this planet's not defended that well on the ground. In space, also not very defended, but I should at least try. Um, so I'm going to cancel Tabana Gas. Pick that up in a second. Uh, basically why I'm doing that is, you'll see in a second, Starfighter Shipyard now comes with a purchasable defense fleet. And... Uh, <laughs> three four for daunt three four k for dauntless bullet please use brain i'm sorry i uh i should be saving for the dauntless you're right you guys you guys are keeping track of the missions better than i am already oof that dauntless blue balls <laughs> i love it um all right. Yeah, that Dauntless is going to be pretty good. The question is, do I sacrifice – do I not tr – basically the trade-off here is either I save – see, this is a classic. This mission is fantastic because now you got to think about, do I even buy this defense ability on our shipyard? Do I even call in for additional reinforcements? to protect the shipyard, because if I don't, I mean, their force is already pretty large, so there's no guarantee of me holding it. There is a guarantee of me getting a Dauntless-class battleship, which kicks ass, and that's a huge deal. So I'm going to check how much this reinforcement costs. If it's less, 2000 2, or less, I'll buy it, because that's, like, I'm okay with that. But if it's any more than 2,000, I am just going to sacrifice Yavin 4. Um, yeah, that was a little bit of backseat gaming, but that's all right. I don't mind it. I kind of enjoy it. I would have completely forgot about the Dauntless thing, to be honest, if I didn't check and read what people were talking about. So... Um, Let's get to it, yeah. Cool thing about Shaq, actually, Captain Shaq, for those that don't know him, super cool guy. You should check him out on YouTube and Twitch, I guess. Uh, he does a lot of Empire War playthroughs. He actually has a build of this, so I don't know when he's going to do it, but eventually you'll see a video. He's actually in the game as a voiceover. That, li that Venator that we talked about for Coda, he voices that ship. We'll get to hear it eventually. So, all right, let's bring the fleet, defensive fleet, back. Let's move the heck out of here. Oh, it's only 500. That's that we're spending that. I didn't even realize that's that little money. So yeah, full upgrades. Plus, it's 8,000 credits to go until uh, what was it? 17, 13k? I don't remember what the Dauntless battleship target was. I don't know if anybody chat remembers. That would be nice to know. Um. Alright, and the reinforcements do take a little bit to call. 500 credits, worth it. Also, this thing repairs ships. This circle around it, uh, this thing repairs. So if you keep ships close to it, they will repair. So actually, that's a great chance. An opportunity. Actually, I don't think we even list that it can do that. We should probably list that in the description. So let me write that one down real quick. Repair description. And I know that different shipyards repair different things because I coded that in, but I never updated the text for it. So that sucks. We're kind of just going to leave our station hanging. It's going to be able to take care of itself. It might be able to actually put some fire down on anything coming in too close for comfort. Uh, we need to send out our ships, though. Oh, yeah, because of that exact reason. Our reinforcements kind of come in in the middle of the map right now until we uh, figure out some more stuff. Ooh, we got a Broadback gunship. Nice. Nice. We're just spilling out units. Right now they spawn in the middle of the map, but 
we plan on fixing that soon. All right, we got a little defense fleet here. We're already engaged. This is not good. Please pull back. Ah, oh, we already lost the Brighthawk gunship. But we might be able to salvage some of these Y-wings and X-wings that we got. All units, move in and defend. Oh my good lord, here come the Gazanti cruisers. All ships engage. We are going to give orders for the X-wings and the Y-wings to engage at least one of these guys. Uh, no dice, no dice. Did we already dump our torpedoes somewhere? Or do we? can we just not target them? Oh shit, this engagement is not good now, is it? All right, save our Y-Wings. Save our Y-Wings. We are in the thick of it. Rebel fighter squadrons, please engage, engage. We have some Gazanti cruisers as well, just circling around. And missiles coming in from the Gazanti, or I mean support ships. This is going to suck ass. That defense fleet was almost not worth it. All right, if this is what the plan is going to be, Dump torpedoes, everybody dump torpedoes, and then re-engage the fighters. That's what we got to do. Where are our torpedoes, boys? Oh my god. Our torpedoes, what, do they not work? How were our torpedoes, boys? Something got through, I didn't... Man, either we were getting absolutely destroyed there, or our torpedoes just straight up did not feel like working. All right, next wave of fighters and bombers. Please take out at least one shield generator. Please. I, I beg of you. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Torpedoes away. And we left our bombers uncovered, so that sucks. Oh, we already are losing shields on this ship. This is just not going to work. We're gonna pull back our fleet. We're gonna retreat. I'm sorry, Rebel Shipyard. You just there's too much going on here. We cannot defend here. We cannot defend. Look at this fleet. It's just coming in. Bulk cruiser lost its engines, so let's just use it as a distraction. Our repair ship is actually taking some massive hits here. Dreadnought is also taking massive hits. They are going straight for the shield generator. Everybody on defense. On defense. All rebel ships regroup and re-engage. Oh, the boat cruiser is down. Engines are still online, but our shield generator, or well, our shields are down. Let's see if we can't like repair drone it while we're moving. Move out, boys. Also, the repair drones you can select and move with the fleet. I highly suggest you do that, because it will repair your stuff on the move. They move really slow, though. <laughs> Alright, alright, alright. Retreat, everybody retreat. I'm ordering the retreat. Save the dreadnought. Save the rebellion. Save the dream. Oh, we're just getting slaughtered. Okay. Seventeen thousand apparently for the uh Dauntless battleship. So we, we are only halfway there. We lost quite a lot here. On top of all the uh, research, we kind of sunk some credits into that. I thought I was going to be able to do a little bit better. Uh, let's get our infiltrators going, though. We need a, these guys defending Yavin. Our defense fleet has retreated to Korriban. This fleet is pretty stacked. I don't think our defense fleet here is going to be able to do anything. I'm saving up for that Dauntless, but man, it's going to... Uh, we can also cancel Jabim 3,000 plus 4,600 plus that gets us around 15,000 credits and we're about to hit payday. Payday itself is going to hit us at around, what is that, 14k? So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This should hit 17k. I'll keep building a station. There it is. Perfect. Perfect timing. Delayed the construction of the rebel camp, but I doubt I care. We have received our Dauntless class battleship. 
and we have completed our mission for the Rebel Alliance. Bastion now has a Dauntless class battle cruiser, which might help turn the tide of that space battle down there. Uh, intersection one. Oh, snap! We sent our ships at intersection one, level two station. They've got some defenses, and but most importantly, my friends, most importantly, they have built a gravity well station. Only buildable on the intersections. Uh, deep space gravity well station. <clears throat> yes, the Dauntless class battle cruiser is up for grabs, I guess. It being a free free ship. <laughs> so nobody's actually claimed it, or nobody's tried to, unless somebody in chat says otherwise. I haven't seen a claim for it yet. I don't think you guys actually expected me to take it until you guys told me that, hey, the Dauntless cruiser's coming up. <laughs> get, <laughs> get the damn ship. <laughs> I can't wait to see... Uh, can't wait to see those missions and how people react to, to that. There's another a very interesting mechanic that has yet to happen, but will probably happen eventually, um, that I'm excited to see how people react to it as well. That is our second capital ship. Oh, we have a claim for our Dauntless battleship. Arc Heavy Gunner, who does not have a ship yet, Claiming the Dauntless Battle Cruiser. Yeah, or the Marshine class. God, oh my God, please don't, please don't trigger me. So, uh, Lux Alfaro is the name of our Dauntless class Battle Cruiser. Arc Heavy Gunner being the uh, Admiral. I think Admirals are capital ships. So, we have our new Dauntless class battle cruiser, the Lux Ofero, standing by. The Sullistans, I think uh, they were very pleased with our, um, whoever the private donator of said ship was. It was obviously a luxury liner. I kind of like giving backstories to these things. I hope people give backstories to them. Uh, <laughs> I wish I could write, like, mission dialogue for every, like, possible event. We, we can. It's just a lot of work. Uh, Skywalker here. He won't take but yeah, Go problem, okay, first off, yeah, problem here yes, is this. Gravity well station is preventing hyperspace retreat. Other problem, gravity well station prevents, to a certain extent, let's see where that extent is. Right away. At some point, it is not going to let us port ships in. There it is. There's our limit. We have to bring our ships way the hell back here. And remember, if we port ships in, we cannot retreat. We cannot retreat Luke right now. Retreat disabled until Gravity Well Station has been destroyed. And we can't port ships in all the way in this radius. So we got to start way back here. And if we do, we are committing our forces. But unfortunately, we either commit our forces or we lose Luke Skywalker. And uh, to be fair... I think what might actually be more beneficial here is to bring in our fighter group, which we have a little bit of, and our fast Corellian Corvettes. I don't like this. Yeah, Leia, I know you don't like this. We're kind of committing our troops into here, uh, Brahatak gunships as well. We're going to keep our Dreadnought out of the fight. We are not bringing in... Uh, the unsuspecting van dreadnought How can I help? we're going to use this as our scout fleet we're going to bring up our little fighter group here our corvettes are moving in ahead of our fighters Let's close XS foils and move in Corellian corvettes your job is to scout out the defenses around said gravity well generator and report back. Now remember, I send my troops in. I cannot port ships in to help. I gotta port them way back here. In fact, we don't even have a person giving us vision to port in anymore. 
There's actually a problem, in my opinion. We got super fighters on the flank, Z95s, cloak shapes, all anti fighter ships. Pull off and engage. Uh, let's see what's over here. Well, we actually don't see any defense forces here. We're going to engage here. Oh, there they are. Okay. Let's move our Corvettes a little bit in. Let's Maybe we can get a firing angle here on that. And try and make sure our super fighters don't come in. We got a Gazanti Sea Rock out here. Yeah, getting sniped by our Corvettes. All right. Low torpedoes, boys. We're going in. Uh, all we have is these guys, so let's try it. Do, 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 do. Launch torpedoes against the gravity wall station. Ready when you are. I'm on it. Uh, nothing. Our Y wings are actually ion stunning the shields off of it pretty quickly, actually. Might be able to start getting damage, actual damage from lasers. Get our ships in. The moment we take this thing out, we're porting in our whole defense fleet. Or, well, actually, oh, they're coming in to defend. They're coming in to defend, boys. Actually, yeah, 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 yeah. They are they are definitely coming, slowly. But the uh, gravity wall station has been destroyed. Hyperspace retreat allowed. We can port ships in. Uh, level 2 station, acclimator. I think I'm going to bait them in just a little bit more. Here we go. Some fighter units there destroyed. We got our little Corvette. Uh, acclimator is trying to run. We're going to chase. Give chase, give chase. Yes, sir. Enable strike mode. Uh, Acclimator is sort of in the back there. Heading to destination. Let's do it. Unsuspecting van plus Garn Bellabus plus Bulk Cruiser. Get our repair ships in as a another insurance policy. The Rebel fleet is committed. Here we go. All Rebel ships. Oh man, okay. Well, I guess we're porting in Dreadnoughts as well. Uh, I forgot about Dreadnoughts. To be fair. <laughs> That's a good thing though. And that means I just have two more Dreadnoughts to work with. Uh, the Acclimator is turning around again to engage. He sees us as a threat. He is going to engage. What we are going to do in retaliation to that is time to send our bombers out on a mission. All ships with torpedoes move in on the shield generator of the acclimator it's cool acclimator it's got a little bit and it's a black sun unit so it's got a little bit of the uh got some mounted turrets on it there we go ship destroyed or shield generator destroyed everybody pull back pull back don't get caught in the crossfire oh one of our heroes is almost dead here oh shit hard engines get out of there I think we might lose our first hero. Oh, our repair drones kind of saved it. Ah, oh, I shouldn't have moved her. No. Our first casualty of the war. Corellian Corvette has been destroyed. That was a Corvette, Captain. That's not good. Actually, there's a huge fighter battle here going on. Our Corvettes are actually kind of hurting. going on here I got Nebulon bees under fire all right dreadnoughts dreadnought defense fleet oops sorry I clicked some random shit move in the fleet move in the fleet right out gunships defend our ships from imper or assault our Nebulon B is actually taking some serious fire we have destroyed the acclimator and uh, now we are targeting the station. The unsuspecting van is moving in as well to defend Garnbell Iblis. Uh, we need. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Got to do some micro here. Uh, repair drones. Repair ships. I guess. Uh, let's send all you guys on the station except you. You hold. Everybody else, defend the ship move our bulk cruiser in defensive formation all other corvettes in defensive formation all fighters in defensive formation i think our nebulon b is all going to be all right 
All power to weapons. Disable that station. There we go. Are we repairing? What are we repairing? Right there. Alright, alright. We're, we're under control. Dreadnought cruisers are assaulting the, uh, our first named ship here in this fleet at least is doing some, some damn good damage here. Alright. All units. You are being given permission to attack. Move in, rebel fleet. Move in. Torpedoes away. Taking out the last hard point here, and Black Sun is escaping. Uh, all right. Press F to pay respects. Yeah, we lost a Corvette hero. Also lost a T-Wing and a C-95 squadron. We took the intersection, though. And that's important because now we have a little bit of breathing room on our back planets here. And we can invest some cash into, like, that again. And all this other stuff. I kind of would like to build a... Alliance headquarters here. Uh, Allian is also pretty undefended, but it does have an ion cannon. I'm going to pony up for a three, level three station. We also need to invest maybe some credits for that fleet. Uh, I'm going to buy it some X Wings, I guess. Our defense force is going into Yavin. We're going to try and defend it with some infiltrators. Hopefully we get there fast enough. We did not get there fast enough. They are invading us with a massive amount of infantry. Lots of soldiers. Uh, we got to defend. So in order to defend, we're going to move our base back. <laughs> I love how you can just uplift a base and move it. <laughs> uh, defense forces on the ground. Let's do it. Pressing F does not break the mod. That was just a problem with Legion's version. I actually fixed it for him or helped him fix it. So F does not break the game by any means. That was actually a problem with the... the I, he had that game weirdly installed with a debug build or something. I don't know what it is. But we fixed it. All right. Remember, once again, if you are watching this after the live event, remember to put down in the comments below if you would like to request a ship. We're actually running out of already purchased ships, but feel free to post it down below. I will we'll only accept orders for ships that we can build or already exist. Otherwise, um, I will just ignore it. So please be sure to select a ship that can actually be available to you. So, uh, yeah, this is this is so. Like I said, the AI is actually gonna start kicking my butt here real soon. The Empire's in the background. They're plotting and scheming. They took Manon from us, and they're kind of happy for now. I'm sure, though, they're gonna come. Right now. The Black Sun is a bigger threat. We are liberating pirate worlds. We're not engaging with the Empire at the moment. Hopefully that's not a mistake, but for now, we should be okay. Rookie, so you absolutely can get an Nebulon B. Just give me a name. I will you'll be assigned a Nebulon B. And, yeah, here we go. The battle is loading. <clears throat> Let's begin our invasion. Incoming. All right. Do you want any help? On the move. All right, we got some infantry out here. We also have, like, a training center, insurgent camp down here. Just a lot of stuff to take care of. 
as we move in. I'm just going to reinforce our troops on the front down there. There's a bunker down there that I'm going to help reinforce. We also got some units that we can't actually build yet because it's an alliance base. Well, we can if we build a factory, but they come they come defended. That is a weird dip. <laughs> what the heck is that, man? That's some bad level design. All right. Uh, I just saw some fighters in there, so let's get our troops on the ground. Get us a anti-aircraft battery. Let the civilians through, sir. Luckily, we have a little bit of flak going at those guys. We're going to just kind of set up here. Oh, we also have this guy, which has an added... Yeah, there we go. Added missile launcher on the side. Upgraded T-1B. Has an, a dedicated anti-air missile launcher on it. Let's get our boys in the, in the dirt here. Get in that bunker, boys, and defend. Rebel tanks! Rebel tank battalion is defending the base. Do we have any missile? Yeah, we do. All right, missile that. Missile that. There we go. AAC. Really nice, really nice. We got some more more troops. Let's move it out, boys. Uh, aircraft, please go defend our base. All right, we got our level one troopers coming in. Can this guy move, please, please, please. We need you. We need you. Oh, my goodness. It's stuck. This map sucks. We also have like some random speeders there already. They're kind of already coming into us here. Uh, yeah, tanks, please move back. Rebel speeders, please defend. We got our insurgent troopers here. Defending, coming out of the uh, camp. And our uh, bunker here is secure for now. We got an AA cannon. Put up an infantry squad. Uh, let's send the civilian backwards to get us some turrets back at base. Gonna move up our little battalion here. We got an AAC hover tank right here. Oh, nice missiles. Good effect on target. Oh, damn, this thing's still building. They're just all over the place, these guys. I think we'll be able to win that. <laughs> yeah. All right. Can the Black Sun even win this? That's the real question. Well, if we move like that, then yeah. Thanks. Got another rebel speeder. Nice. Some more civilians. Actually, these guys got trampled on the way back here. Nice, very nice. Oh, perfect. Rebel troops have taken out a tank. Unfortunately, they are absolutely set up in this landing zone, so I am not even going to try and move in there. We're just going to kind of try and stall, send more speeders out. Here, our AAC is just sitting over here chilling like a villain with his rocket pods, using those exploded tanks as cover. Very nice, I like it. Oh, our troops are down. We get another reserve. All right, let's send this guy back. He's a bit, uh, he's a bit wounded. Be nice if you didn't die on me. We have other artillery missile tanks for this job. Another set of rebel troops. Let's move these guys up to the front line here. Just keep building, just keep building, just keep building. All right, we are set up on the defense here. Oh, they are flanking us. Oh, they took the landing zone from in back of us. Um, okay. That is concerning. Send their speeders back to defend them. But we do have turrets. Seems like we're okay. Setting up our defenses here. Yeah, they're, they're trying to flank us from around. This AAC hover tank is actually under fire. Oh, they're chasing it. Okay, we're fine. Let's get on this hill here. We've got a bunch of tanks there. Yeah, they're pincering me. AC, help us. I don't care if you're wounded. We need your rockets. There we go. Perfect. Oof. Oh, everything's getting destroyed here. Hold out, rebels. Oh, we got a bunch of... Move in. Defend the line. 
Oh my god, look at this. They just have a whole nother defense force up here. Move, move, move. I have no idea where these other turrets are. I need some turrets. I need to move my units somewhere. Oh gosh, they are flanking us from every side here. Uh, we got some more tanks. We got some more tanks here. I don't know why this guy's not moving, but please help. We got another turret pad. Perfect. Defend this guy. Another tank up here. Uh, I see a bombing run. Fellas, eight cannon battery. Oh my goodness gracious me. Ah, uh, they got us. Uh, they got a couple tanks out of that. Not too much, but enough. Nice. Good AAC. Yeah, we do have a base here. This is, you know, it's still pretty defendable. We're not out of this fight yet, boys. We're going to switch to our lasers on these tanks. There's a bunch more infantry coming in. These tanks are pretty good against infantry. Uh, they are weak against rockets. Hopefully we can... Oh my god, the infantry is all over. Please, cover. Rebel troops, distract them. we got this bunker here. We've got tanks being absolutely shredded by infantry. All right, group up. Group up. We're getting kind of killed here. We need this flank. Get these tanks to flank here real quick. Group up. We've got infantry. Please go support. That was a good flank by these two tanks. That was really good. Yep, perfect. All right, meet up. Tanks. All the tanks. I want all the tanks in a group here. We're going to push up, help these soldiers out. Soldiers are requesting. We are under fire. We need armored support. Rebel tanks are inbound. Uh, we need, uh, yeah, more troops. Keep keep pushing this line of offense or defense. Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, that's not happening. Fall back to the bunker, boys. Bunker's going to give you cover. Infantry. Kind of, can we skirt this edge here? Just kind of, yeah. Oh god, okay. I guess not. We've been found out, folks. Higher infantry is here. Oh gosh, they got the grenade launchers too. This is just this is just a cluster. Fuck. They do have the landing zone up top. I don't see them. Oh, they are coming. Alright. Tanks, go back. Help. Take that stuff out. We got the bunker kind of helping. Our troops have died. This is a heavy defense here. This is really heavy. All right, troops, we need more troops. Send in the troops. Oh my god, the bombardment's coming down. It's been called in. Position called in. Oh, that hurt. Everybody take cover. The second blast. Oh, no. Oh, we're being overrun. <laughs> called in the bombardment oh we're being slaughtered by the numbers our reinforcements are down oh shit all right hold out at your base here rebel troops i know your insurrection is endless apparently in terms of numbers uh we have lost that Yeah, that was not a good fight. Uh, let's move our troops up here. We got a civilian squad that is just like, holy shit, what just happened? I just heard everybody die out there. Oh my god, and they're dying now? Yeah. We need defense troops. Hold this position, boys. Hold this position. We got, we got more. We got trained infantry here on the line, causing them to route a little bit. Uh, we got a turret here. Move our... Defense troops. We're going to give a general order for these guys to just attack from the rear. This guy still can't move out. Another turret. I kind of want to make these permanently destructive. Like, once they're dead, they are dead. You know what I mean? Holy crap, this is just so much infantry. They're just littering the place. 
that squad out up there. We're still doing pretty well in the north. This base right here is helping us so much. It's invaluable, dude. Fall back, boys. Fall back. Oh, oh, missile turret. No, fall back. Fall back. Fall back to our defenses. Oh, Jesus. Okay, okay, we missed. They missed. They missed. This guy can't move still. I don't know what's going on, man. All right, another general attack order issued. Got our rebel infantry here on the move. God, look at all these bodies. Oh, that tank O2. I don't think smoke works like that, but eh, whatever. <laughs> we'll fix it eventually. <laughs> uh, more guys in the wreckage here. They're using the tanks as cover. Bastards. Using our own fallen troops as cover. Uh, we are outflanked on three fronts right now. All right, meet up with the civ civvies and let's uh, let's do some work here. Chase these guys down. They're running. They're running, man. Nice, dude. This is a good flank right here. We're we're pushing them up. Oh yeah, let's take out this turret for our boys. For the rebellion. Nice. Double flank. I love it. Pincer him. Perfect. All right. Let's move in on this landing zone. Hopefully, there's no more transports out in a boat. Also, just capture this. Give us some vision. This area. And then we'll send in our other guys to help defend our expendables. Oh, shit. Okay. Mass driver turret. Recapture this landing zone. Put down their numbers. Nice. All right. It seems like the battle's winding down. I think they are about either either they're about to lose or I don't know. Something is weird here. Oh gosh. Okay, more infantry. I think we took them out. Okay. Keep pushing, boys. Keep pushing. Onward, rebel troops! Yeah, I don't know where the rest of these guys are. Oh, nice. Okay, okay, okay. We've, we've managed to get to their base here, base of operations. Take out the repair facility first, then take out the vehicle. A costly battle, but a necessary one. Oh, they took back the northern landing zone. Oh, shit. Okay, well, fall back, troops. Fall back. Fall back. This is not going to go well for us. We have an extra infantry squad down here. Yeah, this is... This can go either way. I think we're going to win this one. I have high hopes. I'll send in my speeder, too. That's a... You know, at this point, I think it's better to send them in with the troops than it is not to send them in. Oh, yeah, there's our... There's our... Okay. Yeah, that's, a, that's quite a bit of guys. Please don't call in a transport on me. I am banking on the fact that they are not going to do that. Rebel speeder here. Move it up, move it up, boys. Charge them. Take them out. Oh my god, we have a bombing run. We have a bombing run inbound. It is coming after us. Oh, okay. All right, it missed, it missed. Take these guys out. There we go. Nice. That was close, man. That was close. We lost everything except the base. And they just barely got it.
to the point where I almost yeah they're they're gone. Oh shit, man, this is rough. Set him down on Yavin. Let's just hold here until further notice. Yeah, we have some more ground troops here. Maybe we can get him in there. Just just hold. Get our Moncal infantry in there too. Just hold. Get these tanks in there too. Go and hold that. Please. For all that is holy. Please hold that. Oh my god, we're getting corrupted up here. We don't have money to remove it. Uh, yeah, that situation's kind of screwy. I'm glad we held on to Yavin. It, they did just blow up our only fighter factory out here, so we're, we can't build any of that stuff anymore. Um, so... Yeah, that bombardment was... I, when I saw that bombardment, I thought I lost. I thought it was over. Um, to be fair, if we didn't have that insurrection, like, camp, it probably was over. Um, but thankfully, we had those guys to at least distract. They're not worth a lot of power, but they'll at least distract the enemy. Anyways, that's going to end it for um, part two. And that's going to end it for the stream in total. It is 11 o'clock my time, so it is time to go uh, for me. I hope everybody has enjoyed uh, the stream. We'll come back to this. We're at week 11 as the Rebels on Expert. <sighs> the galaxy is still it's all over the place, really. I have no idea what they're doing. Um, out here, I see some fleets around. Uh, that fleet, that Black Sun fleet, is still out and about. So they're somewhere. And then we got something here. So it might be part of it, actually. Their next planet is going to be a lot more defended. <laughs> so... Yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope to see you guys for the next part. So have a nice day, and see you later.